seek out a breastfeeding friend for some of their breast milk. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. And this video is definitely a motherhood thing. It, we are gonna be talking about breast milk. I used it as chapstick a while ago and I wanted to share how it went. And we are going to be reviewing a little breast pump that was sent my way. I'd like to thank Carer for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent me this electric breast pump to review. It is hands-free, super quiet, and USB rechargeable. There are two silicone inserts to change the flange size from 27 millimeters to 24 millimeters, and two sets of tubing that allows the user to pump one side or both. In addition to the pump parts, you also get a few milk storage bags and two breast pads. There are a number of things that I really like about this pump. The first being that I'm not tied to a wall and can pretty much pump wherever I am. That could be in the car, if I went shopping, or if I'm just at home and need to move around and about. On this day, I was packing for our family's beach vacation, and I figured I would do my pumping session at the same time, with my little buddy next to me, of course. It was so nice to be able to continue to pump and move around my house at the same time. I really like how the pump fits into my breastfeeding friendly tanks and bras. With my other electric pumps, the flanges and bottles stick out, look a bit awkward, and really can't be hidden by my clothing like this pump can. When I was done pumping, I simply disconnected the tubing and removed the silicone breast shields, then poured the milk into the provided storage bag and threw it in the freezer. The next time I needed to pump was on a different night, after feeding Jack on one side. The pump does have a memory function to remember your last pump setting and there are actually five adjustable working modes to choose from. You just have to figure out which setting you like the best. If you'd like to grab one of these for yourself, I've placed the link to the product in the description box, and you can use the code EMILY20 for 20% off. In addition to the breast pump, Carer sent me this cute little travel baby bottle cleaning and drying set. It comes with a silicone bottle brush, a silicone nipple brush, a straw brush, a soap dispenser, a magnetic drying rack, mounting bracket, and drying case. The set uses all food grade materials and is dishwasher safe. The food grade liquid silicone brush head is BPA free, safe and odorless, pliable and durable, and cleans the bottles without leaving a scratch. I really love how compact this set is. Obviously, the set is made for easy traveling, but for someone like me who uses bottles only occasionally, it is the perfect set to have at home too. It doesn't take up too much counter space and it tucks away nicely in the cabinets. Again, I'd like to thank Kara for sponsoring this portion of today's video and remind you to use the code EMILY20 if you want to save 20% off these products. So if that breast pump and the bottle cleaning traveling kit seems like something that you would be interested in, I will go ahead and link all of the information down below in the description box for your guys' convenience. But now let me go ahead and talk about how my experience using breast milk went for my chapped lips. So this actually happened a long time ago. I had a really bad cold and I, we were still living at my parents' house and my lips were just ridiculously chapped. And I kept, you know, seeing things and hearing things online about the benefits of breast milk on, you know, cracked nipples and like all that stuff, but also, you know, it fixes, you know, ear infections for your babies or eye, you know, pink eye or something like that. Or there's just so many things that breast milk is awesome for. So I figured if it helps with cracked nipples, wouldn't it kind of work with chapped lips? It seems like not too far of a stretch. So this morning that I was at my parents' house, I just expressed a little bit of milk into just a tiny little cup and dabbed on some chapstick, you know, my version, some breast milk. And 15 minutes later, my lips were looking significantly better. They still were not, you know, anywhere close to totally healed. 
but they did look a whole lot better than when it's when I started in the morning. And then I tried to like anytime I breastfed a uh, little Jack, I tried to express just a couple drops and then put it on my lips. I wasn't super strict on how often I put the breast milk on my lips. I wish I could have said, you know, it happened every two hours and I put more on or whatever. It was just whenever I thought about it, I put it on my lips. And, you know, over the course of a couple days, my lips were still chapped, but again, they weren't nearly as chapped as when they first, you know, when I was like, okay, I need to do something about this. This is horrible. So I wish I could say breast milk is like this cure for really bad chapped lips, but I can't. I think if I were to give it a rating, it'd probably be like, a seven out of 10, you know, for compared to chapstick. Obviously this was free, but you know, if you have a chapstick that you really like also go ahead and use that. You don't need to seek out a breastfeeding friend for some of their breast milk for this miraculous cure to chapped lips. But I'm happy to say that my lips have healed from that experience and haven't got that chapped since. So hopefully it'll stay that way. But in, you know, in case I need chapstick in a pinch, I can go ahead and use some of my breast milk that I either hand express or now conveniently use with my breast pump. But that wraps up today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed it or learned something new, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down too. That actually helps me out. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of the content that I have to offer. Like I said, it's a motherhood channel. Moms kind of take care of everything. So I have kind of like a hodgepodge of stuff on my channel and would love for you to check it out and see what else you guys enjoy. So again, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.